was a time once, when I was really a very young girl, that I believed my parents when they told me that when I grew up, I could be anything I wanted to be. Anything. Doctor, teacher, soccer player, queen. Anything. I gathered up dreams like a thousand smooth stones and stored them away for safekeeping until the day came when I could fulfill them, one by one, just as my parents promised. I don't think my parents lied to me. I just think they didn't want me to know the truth too soon, that it doesn't matter how many dreams you collect, because when it all comes down to it, there's only one dream that matters, and your whole life is about finding that one dream, that one perfect stone, which will finally make sense of everything in your life. Sometimes it's right there in front of you, And sometimes it has to hit you right between the eyes. Oh, Libet, help me find the right stone. Why can't I just pick something? She's gonna hate whatever I give her anyway. Relax, Patch. Your mother is a lovely woman. I'm sure whatever you choose will look absolutely beautiful on her. That depends on whether it clashes with the withering glare of disapproval she usually wears when she comes over. Would you like me to look for more? No, thanks. Look, just do me a favor. Find the first thing you come to that costs... $37 and... 19 cents. Wrap it up, put a pretty bow on it, write happy birthday on the card and... I'll be in later to pick it up. And you don't want to know what it is? It doesn't matter what it is. She's going to return whatever it is anyway, just like she always does. Like the last gift I gave her. What in God's name is this? It's a charm bracelet. Look in the box. There are more charms inside. Charms? That's adorable. I almost wish I were 11 again so that I could wear it. Don't go in your house. What? I just saw someone go in your house. Someone's in my house? You should call the police. Right. Yeah, yeah, please. What's their number? Try 911. Right, 911. Oh, God, I've never called 911 before. I mean, is this an emergency? Like, what if they get mad at me? There's a stranger in your house. That's an emergency. You're right, you're right, okay. Yes, this is Patchouli Collins, and there's someone in my house. No, I'm not inside the house. I'm, I'm standing outside my house, looking at my house with my friend Molly. Uh, they don't need to talk to me, Patch. Right. Yeah. Oh, sorry, what was that? No, I don't know who it is. I mean, do you want me to find out? Like, I don't know how scared I should be before I call you. You're not mad at me, are you? Oh, give me the stupid phone. Look, there's somebody in the house and we don't know who it is. So just get your butt over to 805 Oak Street as fast as you can. Thank you. Wow, look at you. I could never be forceful like that. It, my house could be burning to the ground in the middle of the night and I would feel guilty that the fire department guys had to get out of bed to save it. So tell me the truth, there's a woman, right? <laughs> a woman? Jake, my friend, do you see where we find ourselves, right? Just a few days ago, we were sailing my boat off Dana Point, enjoying the final fleeting moments of a perfect California day with a couple of very physically gifted ladies. And now we're in Fairmont, Idaho, or Ohio, or something. Iowa, Ray. Fairfield, Iowa. So who's the woman? <laughs> There's no woman, Ray. So it's a guy? It's neither. Okay, it's it's neither. It, what's going on with you? you? You've been inhaling too much corn or something? It's land I'm after, Ray. I'm after land. 
land. You, you mean dirt? You 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 drag this out here for dirt? Ray, I'm giving up the practice, man. <laughs> you give up? Sure you are. Sure. No kidding, Ray. I want a little farm with my own nice big patch of soil. You're a plastic surgeon, Jake. What what do you know about farming? I know I need it. You need to farm? Who says things like that, Jake? I need to farm. That's like me saying I I need to sell aluminum siding. I mean, I'm sure it's nice and peaceful here in Kansas. Iowa, Ray. But they have dirt in California, too. You'll understand when you see it. See what? My farm. Tell me you didn't write Farmer Brown a big fat check already. You are going to love it. Lord, shine your wisdom down on this stupid man. He bought himself a farm. Finish your lunch, Ray. We're going out there. Whoa, whoa there, Farmer and Adele. I'm not stepping into any field that a cow uses as a litter box. I paid $200 for these shoes. We'll get you some boots. Boots. Right. Do I look like a cowboy to you? Dad, you didn't even touch the supper I made for you. Not no, hungry, sweetheart. Dad, we have a guest. This is Patch. You know Patch? Yeah, I know Patch. How are you? Douglas. Douglas Jameson, right? You used to mow my parents' lawn when I was a little girl. Right. How are they? Good, Douglas. They're good. How are you doing? So, how did you and Haley hook up? Um, uh, well, we Actually, were... it's really a very funny story. Haley here was over in my part of town, and her car broke down right in front of my house. Haley doesn't actually have a car. Right. I knew that. What I meant was my car had engine trouble right in front of your house and Haley here was kind enough to lend me an engine. She shouldn't have brought you here. I don't know what else to do for you, Dad. You won't even- I'm fine. I don't need someone looking over my shoulder every minute of the day. Well, excuse me for caring, okay? I'm trying to help. I never asked you for any help. I never asked you for anything. Did I? Did I? No! You didn't ask me to love you. But I did anyway! Joke's on me! Maybe I should be going. So what'd you come over here for? What are you, the town saint? Actually, my mother wanted me to grow up and be a nun. Bring blessing on the family, she said. My father's family wanted me to join the Peace Corps, live in a commune somewhere, give something back, enlighten the world. But, much to everyone's disappointment, this is me, Sister Patchouli. I'm not a saint. I'm not a blessing to the world. I'm just this. If this is good enough for you, then I'm willing to sit and listen for as long as you want me to.